What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Now, I'm fully aware that I sound like a grown man, but we are here. I'm sick, but this happens twice a year, so we are in the second, okay? But listen, Soldier Boy and Bluefist, they still into it, and we got to get into it. Um, and then I'm going to go down the rabbit hole of the other stuff that happened yesterday when... Spectrum decided to have an outrage or outbreak or whatever the fuck you want to call it. All right, so this was Bluefus looking for Soldier Boy yesterday. Two. From the address Soldier Boy gave him. Soldier, where you at, man? So, this where you from, man? I'm, I'm here before you. Have you seen Soldier Boy, bro? Soldier Boy said he from over here. You seen Soldier Boy over here? Man, that's crazy. Bro, you trying to talk on the Soldier. Phone? You sure, bro? You probably never seen Soldier Boy over here, huh? <laughs> bro. You seen Soldier Boy around here? Soldier Boy. Just asking random ass niggas. Huh? You don't know who that is? Over. All right. Nobody knows Soldier. Soldier, why would you send me this bunk ass address? Don't nobody know you over here. That's why. School yard. What? Hey. Hey. Found Soldier? I ain't find Soldier. Where you at? Y'all know Soldier Boy? You know Soldier Boy? No English. No English? You know Soldier Boy? No? Y'all know Soldier? How long y'all been over here? For a long time? Two months. Two months. No English. You ever heard of Soldier Boy? No. No Soldier. This ain't no gang shit. This the address that Soldier Boy sent me. I'm here. Wait, no Soldier Boy. All right. You know, like, uh, like I know a lot goes on on the internet, right? And some shit be like, yo, this is. This is ridiculous, right? But it is what it is. For one, why the fuck would Blueface actually go to the address? Like, nigga want to show he gangster so bad. Not saying he ain't a gangster. But damn, like, you're on probation. Like, I, I got to agree with Soulja Boy when you say that nigga just want to go to jail right now. Because it's like, what are you doing? What the fuck is he doing, bro? That's crazy. He's taking forever. Hold on. 1250. Gave him the address. What you got going on, buddy? This is LA. This is not Pennsylvania. I'm not on no nothing. I just want to see Soldier Boy. Keep asking everybody. Nobody knows Soldier Boy on this motherfucker. Found Soldier? I ain't find Soldier. Man, this is where Soldier told me to meet him at. <coughs> Look where Soldier Boy got me at. <laughs> Soldier, this where you send me the address to, bro? Pull your bitch ass up on SY, bro. Let's have a conversation. I just want to talk, Soldier. Let's just have a talk, Soldier. That's why. Soldier sent me the address somewhere he not even at. Don't nobody over here know Soldier Boy. Soldier. I like when he say his name like that. I'm on your block. Waiting for you. That's why. I don't know what you got going on, buddy. This is LA. This is not Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is crazy. You know, we really don't know where that nigga from because he said he was from Atlanta. And niggas in Atlanta saying he ain't from there either. So I don't know where the fuck Soldier Boy is from. Soldier. But anyway, um, that was Bluefus looking for um Soldier Boy yesterday on SY. Um, girl, hot ass mess. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that down in the comment section below. But I'ma just say, um, like we all know Blueface can fight. Like that nigga will beat your ass. Point of view. Woman or male, him, them hands is bisexual. They don't care who they hit, okay? 
literally. Um, no pun intended to the bisexual community. Jesus Christ. Because y'all know how. Oh, God. Y'all know what the fuck I mean. Anyway, um, so I think if Soldier would have pulled up, Blueface would have whooped his ass. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm glad he didn't. And then when Soldier Boy went live with the nigga, that didn't make it no better. I'm talking no better. So he didn't help the women of, of America. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, anyway, so we're going to get on to the next one. Krishan talks about her performance and seemingly responds to Blueface posts. Um, so the post that he put up was basically saying that they had him and Jaden headline shows. People are coming there to see them, not just coming there to see anybody. Basically, um, you got to start somewhere. I only do it for practice because uh, my tour is coming up in January. Don't matter where I start. I'm always a star on my son. This is a joke right now till you see where I end up. I'm doing all this with no label or help just off the strength. I'm going to tell Krishan something right now. Stop the off the strength. Stop strengthening on the off the, for real. Because she needs professionalism in her um in her mix, point blank period. She got to get some professionalism. That's the only way the professionals are going to take her serious. You know what I'm saying? I will say Blueface has professionalism with his with his shit, although Jaden can't dance with her damn he still have background dancers behind her, blah, blah, blah. He's been in the game for a minute. I will say if Krishan would just listen sometimes, um, she'd be able to pick up the pointers from whomever. And even that being Blueface. <clears throat> but Krishan don't listen. Um, and I believe that's why she doesn't have a professional team because she doesn't want to listen. Um, and unfortunately, that's not how this shit works. She got to get somebody she's going to listen to. Not just Gloss. Gloss got to listen to somebody. Glorilla got to listen to somebody. You know what I'm saying? Um, Sexy Red got to listen to somebody. Or they wouldn't have all these shows, you know? And um, so she definitely need to find her way up in there with that. Uh, shit like this motivate me and remind me I'm doing shit right. Your haters going to watch every move. Keep watching. <laughs> I can show you better than I can tell you. That's why we're not, we're not opening up. We're not warming up the crowd. <laughs> we're not, we're not, no, nah, we headline. That's why. We headline shows, we close the show, we finish the show. We ain't not, ain't no cutting the mic off. Ain't none of that going on on that spot. <laughs> so that, that's the rate, man. Dope. That's why we're not. That shit is crazy. Like, I've never seen a nigga just pick on a bitch. However, um, you know, her last song was a diss to him and, you know, things like that. So, if anything, he just responded. Um, he said, come see the circus for yourself, Orange County, um, which I guess they have another show. Uh, the DJ responds after Krishan Rock received backlash from her set, messing up. They played the wrong music and turned my mic off. Um, so I want to talk about the show um, in this. Might as well get it out the way. So I just tried to do a video and show the actual show. And Krishan outfit was so damn skimpy. They gave me a yellow mark. So um, I ain't even going to put the outfit on the screen, but I will address it. For one, L should have stayed fired. L does not know how to dress Krishan, period. What he puts on her is barely nothing. And I don't feel like she should have had that on for that show. Um, especially the way she danced and shit like that. Unless she just wanted to be in skimpy shit. Now here recently, her dressing herself, she's been comfortable. Uh, it's given like sweatsuits and things like that. I'm not saying always dress like that. But she doesn't have to dress like she don't have on nothing. You know what I'm saying? So L should have stayed fired. That's number one. Number two, DJ Scott should have been there. At some point, they got to squash that little beef. I will say, though, I feel Krishan on DJ Sky not being around me all the time because you want to expose everything that I'm supposed to expose. So I completely understand where she be coming from on that end. But a DJ is a DJ. You know, that's almost one of them don't mix business with pleasure type thing. 
Um, she should have just continued being a goddamn DJ and not on this friendly shit. Um, so I just feel like she should have been there. Now, the DJ is basically saying that he was only given one song. Um, that's basically it about the DJ. Uh, Chris, and, and the third thing is Krishan needs some professionalism. She need a real team that's going to tell her what to do. And then she has to have enough humility to, to do it. <clears throat> she likes to do what she wants to do. And ultimately it becomes like a, um, it don't go the way she wanted to go every time. Um, her leaving Baltimore, going to L.A. to then catch a flight to Miami, which we knew wasn't going to happen. I just don't understand why. Who told her to go to L.A.? And I think her sisters really, really, really is a problem for her and her mental health, bro. All that damn, oh, her family's so entitled. They so entitled. And um, I just feel like all them, everybody around her is trying to keep the, like, you got to keep the money in the family. You got to keep it in-house. Let's do everything in-house. No. They're not looking out for the betterment of you. Krishan could be making so much more money, bro. I know she make a lot, but goddamn, she could be making so much more with professionalism. She really could. And if she got a tour coming out in January, I hope she got a team to set that whole tour up, for real. Um, but, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about all of this down in the comment section below. Um, Blueface, I forgot that Krishan did recently make another diss track on him, so he's just talking like she talking. It kind of is what it is. Um but that's it for now. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah. Also, I want to know, do y'all think that she needs more professionalism? Um, do y'all think she needs to stop looking out for people on a strength and um, pay a team to get done what she needs to get done? Um, do y'all think she needs to stop talking about Blueface so he can leave her the hell alone? Uh, that recent diss was a good diss, though. It was a good this. Um, yeah, I want to know those questions. Tell me down in the comment section below. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.